Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about caffeine, how much caffeine you can consume safely, is it beneficial or maybe dangerous for you. Caffeine, a natural stimulant found in various beverages and foods, has become a staple in many people's daily routines. From jumpstarting the morning to overcoming mid-afternoon slumps, caffeine is a trusted companion for millions worldwide. While it offers numerous benefits, understanding the appropriate consumption levels, along with its potential drawbacks, is essential for maintaining a healthy relationship with this powerful substance. Now, how much caffeine is okay? Determining the optimal amount of caffeine consumption varies from person to person. Factors such as age, weight, metabolism and individual sensitivity all play a role in how much caffeine an individual can tolerate. Generally, consuming up to 400 mg of caffeine per day is considered safe for most healthy adults. However, it's crucial to note that sensitivity to caffeine varies and some individuals may experience adverse effects even at lower doses. Now let's talk about the benefits of caffeine. Caffeine stimulates the central nervous system, enhancing focus, concentration and mental alertness. It can help combat drowsiness and promote wakefulness, thereby improving productivity and performance. Caffeine has been shown to improve endurance and reduce fatigue during physical activities. It stimulates the release of adrenaline, increases muscle contractions, and boosts metabolic rate, thereby enhancing athletic performance. Caffeine can enhance mood and reduce the risk of depression. It stimulates the production of neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, which are associated with feelings of pleasure and well-being. Caffeine acts as an antioxidant, protecting cells from damage caused by free radicals. It has been linked to a reduced risk of certain diseases, including Parkinson's disease, certain cancers and liver diseases. Now let's discuss potential drawbacks of caffeine. Caffeine's stimulating effects can disrupt sleep patterns, especially when consumed close to bedtime. Individuals who are sensitive to caffeine may experience difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep leading to sleep deprivation and its associated health issues. Caffeine can temporarily raise heart rate and blood pressure, which may pose risks for individuals with cardiovascular conditions or those who are sensitive to its effects. Regular and excessive consumption of caffeine can lead to dependency, with withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, irritability, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating when intake is abruptly reduced or discontinued. Caffeine is a diuretic and can increase urine production, potentially leading to dehydration. It can also irritate the gastrointestinal tract, causing acid reflux, indigestion, or stomach discomfort in some individuals. To enjoy the benefits of caffeine while mitigating potential drawbacks, it is important to find the right balance. Here are some recommendations. Be aware of your caffeine intake from various sources, including coffee, tea, energy drink, soda and chocolate. Consider keeping a caffeine diary to track your consumption accurately. Pay attention to your body's response to caffeine and adjust your intake accordingly. If you experience adverse effects, consider reducing your consumption or choosing decaffeinated alternatives. Avoid consuming caffeine close to bedtime to minimize sleep disturbances. Consider having your last caffeinated beverage at least 4 to 6 hours before bedtime. Counterbalance caffeine's diuretic effects by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. If you are sensitive to caffeine or wish to reduce your intake, explore decaffeinated options or herbal teas 
that offer a variety of flavors and health benefits. Monitoring your caffeine intake, being mindful of your body's reactions and making informed choices will help you enjoy the perks of caffeine without compromising your well-being. As with any dietary component, it's always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional to determine what works best for you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and as always, stay healthy.